Hello again. Right, this is a uh, nice little tutorial for you here. For if any of you want to make some sort of you know, like a Halloween based song, some a bit eerie and a bit dark. Um, I've no idea what the fuck's going on here because this is to stop all the noise for the fans and shit like that. I've um, obviously recorded something previously and then I'm going to voice over, which is what I'm doing now. So here's the track that I've I made for you and I'm going to break it down and everything. And there you go, and there's a little song I made for you as a tutorial. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is this long sweep thing. Oh yeah, there's no drums in that song because I'm not teaching you the drums, I'm teaching you this stuff. Anyway, this is this. As you can see here, there's a, um, a gap and a difference in note, and I'll explain that in a second whenever my previous self decides to show you. Right, that gap, all it does is it... Um, it goes from one note to the other and you can have a big jump like that or you can just have a small jump like I've done it depends on whatever you want to do but make sure the notes are the same notes that you are playing anyway here's the stats for it your volume is 6 127 127 127 36 127 30 127 Fucking hell, that's a bit fast chin. Uh, got a bit of tremolo on it. 26, 0 0.52, and it's on auto panning. Track echo is uh, you want to put that in yourself and change it yourself. All of these you want to do yourself anyway. Fuck knows what that is, but there's the stats for it anyway. And uh, what you want to do is, yeah, all these effects that I've added and stuff like that, you want to adjust yourself. Echo 24. Reverb. I didn't catch that myself. <laughs> but anyway, you want to edit all yourself and uh, make sure it's to your liking. Next one is this build up pad, and all this does is just accompany the first one. So it just kind of mixes in with the first one. Here's the stats for this one. It's glide one two seven eight zero sixty four sixty point two eight one eight one two seven one two seven seventy one one oh nine one two seven one oh four and that's that and that's a hybrid basic. This one here, this pure filth one that I've made, it's a uh, bit bit of a background thing it's like a stab really six one seven seven two seven two eight one zero two two one two seven right um compressor base punchy filter sixty zero fifty and it's on up and down distortion is three five two three hundred minus four point five Track echo you need to change yourself. Depending on the song. 18 bits, 32 times. Visual EQ is on bass boost. Echoes nothing. Reverb is 44, I think. And it sounds something like this. And it's got a little fade in as well, as you can see. And it doesn't fade out till later on because of the echo. Also, something I missed with this build up pad, whenever I decide to show you, is the bass reduction opposite to treble reduction, which I've showed you before. It just moves the other way, so instead of going down and up, it's up and down like that. 
and it makes um, all the tinny sounds tinny and the bass sounds just not there this one is a good one Yeah, I like using this one a lot because it's um, it's really ambience. That's what it says. It's ism ism ambience, I think it's called, and it's really good for the background. This one is just a nice little fill. Make sure the reverb's quite high on it. The chorus, obviously, you don't need, but I've put that in there because I think it sounds better. And this one is to go with it. This one I use a lot as well. This vox, vox, whatever you want to pronounce it. And it's obviously a faster version of the uh, the Rithy Fifths one. And all of the edits and everything in that you need to really do yourself to make sure it sounds best for the track. This wobble bass. I'm pretty sure I've showed you this wobble bass before, but I'll give you the settings for it anyway. Digital mono, 18.0, 100, 127, 78, 103, 4, 127, 127. There's a settings for that. Uh, it's compressor, bass, punchier. You can always change that. And if you put a bit of reverb, it might sound better. Also, what you want to do is uh, duplicate it. When you've got all your speed and everything, duplicate this type of wobble anyway, not all your wobbles, and paste it in. And as you can see, it's duplicated the speed changes that I've made and then what you want to do is switch the channel in so you want one on right and one on left and with a quiet bass like that you want to um, you want to layer it like that so it comes out nicely in headphones or surround speakers or something like that and yeah another thing to do is duplicate it again if you want to and layer it again but center this track in the middle of the headphones and drop it an octave if you don't know what dropping an octave is I'll show you that in a second I think I do anyway like that <laughs> And yeah, that just brings out the low notes a little bit more and it uh, obviously layers it and makes it sound a little better. To mix in the sub synth with the wobble, all you want to do is um, take your original wobble bass and copy and paste it into sub synth bass. As you can see, they look exactly the same when I'm changing. And just drop it an octave. This is how you drop an octave. You see how that's two keys above the C? That the one, I just move it down one and it's two keys above the C as well if that makes sense but you can always google how to drop an octave or anything like that anyway right then thanks a lot for watching this tutorial video although it was an absolute shambles of a tutorial but like I said before I'm only trying to um, to get rid of all the background noise and make sure you can hear everything I'm doing clearly Um, yeah it was a pre-recorded video and the voiceover is a voiceover it's recorded afterwards and it was hard to figure out what I was doing at the time and what I'm doing now it's a bit of a difficulty but hopefully all the sound sounds good and um, you get everything right uh, you are gonna have to play and pause it obviously in some bits but thank you for watching the tutorial and I really do hope it helps you and keep sending me some tracks because I like listening to what you're doing and also send me a garage band file as well and uh, I'll see if I can help you out with it at all a uh, big shout out before I go to Cody, I think his name is on YouTube, he'll be in the description, he made me a background for YouTube, massive shout out for him and his mate Sandem, I think his name is, but it'll all be in the description, because one of them makes really good dubstep tracks and the other one made me a background for YouTube, so massive thanks to them, much appreciation, make sure you subscribe to them because they are very handy people. Thanks a lot for watching and listening, uh, hope you keep making these tracks, good boy.